channel today we are going to be doing my makeup routine i feel like this has been requested for quite some time now and it's finally happening y'all so we are doing this face here today and this is just my go-to look so what i have right now is a foundationless look so the base is just concealer and just kind of like spray in there around where needed and then also I redo my brows, which is a huge game changer. So it kind of looks like I have like a natural brow lift. I'll show you guys what my natural brows look like next. So with that, let's just dive right in to my makeup routine. But my natural brows end right there because when I was like in middle school, I basically experimented with my eyebrows. Remember when they were like really, really in? Really like those, those like sharpie brows that were like super, super angled. So basically what I did was I shaved off my eyebrows and I drew them in and when my eyebrows grew back they didn't grow back all the way so if you look really closely like right here it ends right there and then I got this part um, microbladed but I don't I don't really love it anymore I feel like it kind of looks like this first things first we are gonna use sunblock make sure to wear sunblock every single day even when I'm at home I wear sunblock because We'll get random moments of sun. I'll go outside to play with Willow for a little bit, etc. And sun is just like the number one skin premature ager. Does that make sense? You know what I'm trying to say. First things first, I am using this Supergroup Zinc Lotion Sunscreen. And I like this one because it's really, really thin. So it really absorbs into your skin really quite quickly. And it kind of has like a pink hue to it. So it doesn't give you like that white pasty sunscreen look. And always make sure to take your sunscreen all the way down to your neck. I feel like this is something I realized a little late in my life. So I, now I have, you know, lines and wrinkles on my neck because we have really thin, delicate skin on our neck. And that's where just like age reversal is impossible there. So your age will always show there. So make sure to put some block on your neck. So like I said, we are gonna be skipping the foundation and we are diving right into concealer. And I'm using this Kosas Creamy Concealer. And I really like it because this has pretty medium to high coverage, dependent on like how much you build it. But this one is cool because it's a hybrid between like skincare and makeup. It's makeup that's, you know, working for your skin. Cause I feel like sometimes with concealers and foundations, it feels really heavy. And I feel like literally my pores are just blocked but i believe this one has hyaluronic acid too so over time it's really supposed to actually plump your skin and hydrate your skin welcome to the future and then i have this coloration right here because i used to have like mad cystic scars when i was in high school and then a random resurge of hormones i don't know maybe it was me getting on my birth control getting off my birth control but i had a lot of um i had another surge of acne when i was like 24 25 and of course i'm using my handy beauty blender i use this for everything so i feel like it covers really well it has good brightening agents and then basically what i'm doing is using my concealer as a foundation it's a little mismatch color right now because i did self tanner and i don't do self tanner on my face so you just cut off right at the neck as you can see and then i really love to set my under eyes with this rodial instaglam banana eye powder and this instantly has a brightening effect on your eyes and then next just to contour my face i'm using this ilia drawn in nightlight bronzing powder and this is a really great switch for me and i really like this brand because when i used to have like really hormonal acne I it would literally be concentrated right on my cheekbones and along my jawline and I feel like I would just aggravate it by using <laughs> by using bronzer but not using the right bronzer and also with dirty brushes. So now I make sure to use Clean Beauty and also constantly make sure to clean my brushes, you know, once a week. So I use a angled brush like this. I usually start from up here and then bring it down just to give the illusion of like just heightened cheekbones. Do you hear Willow in the back? And then to contour my nose, I still use the same um, little bronzer here and this is a powder bronzer so instead of using like a cream bronzer i just use powder just because like i said my skin is just more prone to getting 
oily, so I found that this is easier. Now I need a mirror for this, just to make sure I'm doing it right. So I use a pretty thin brush like this, just bring it down from where my eyebrows begin, and then just to tips of the, the tip of my nose, not the tips. I'm basically just like draw like a circle here, just a contour. And then I'll get like a brush that's like more soft and a little bit more dull at the end. And then just blend it in. And then I also just contour this area right here. And then make sure to just end, brush out any like harsh lines. I mean, I think the contouring is pretty, pretty subtle. And then the really creme de la creme highlighter, I love this one, I've been using it forever, is this Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter. As you can see, she's been lived in. And I basically take a tapered brush like this that's quite thin at the end, and then I'm gonna brush the tip of my nose, and I really feel like that makes my nose pop off. We're not gonna overdo it, you know? But I feel like it's just like a subtle pop off, and it just brings a little more dimension to your nose. So I just do it. So I've really been into cream blushes lately and I'm using this Ilia Multi-Stick and it is in the color I Put a Spell on You and it's so easy to use. I basically just use it directly on my cheeks. I don't know how I feel about that. You guys can use you know, your fingers and apply it directly just depending on how hygienic you wanna be but I'm the only one using this and I make sure my face is always clean so I'm just gonna dab this on. And I just take my blush up to give the illusion of higher cheekbones. And then I'll just take my finger and then put a little bit on my nose right here, just so it blends all the colors in nicely and it gives your face like a nice little flush. Now this has really been the new creme de la creme of my makeup routine are these two products. So remember I was talking about my microbladed eyebrows. So basically what they do, what I do <laughs> is take out these brows, take out the ends and redraw the ends. And it's literally, it changes the entire shape of my face. It literally just takes things up. I'm using this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it is so good to block out my brows. So this is what I do. That's my real brow. Like literally that is my real brow. That's me if I didn't have microblading. And then I take this hourglass brush and it is so good at just like blending it in but not removing any of the concealer and just like really keeping it in place. I'll just basically block out my eyebrows. Voila, my brows are gone. And then I'll just set it with powder. So I just set it with this breezy cloud set from Kosas to make sure it really just stays in place. And this is one of my favorite products ever. It is a DR Backstage Brow Palette. It comes with these two powder shades. And for the front of my brow, I use a lighter shade. And then when I have no, where I have no hair in the back, I basically use the darker color. In the past, I was really confused as to how powder brows worked and if it, they would stay in place, but I love it. And I've just been using it religiously and I'm just using it with this Kat Von D brush. It's just like a super, super thin, fine brush. And honestly, my brows are kind of different every single day. But who's this in, right? This is like literally where you have to concentrate the most for brows, sometimes for eyeliner. Okay, here we go. I feel like there's two times that people should never talk to me is when I'm doing my brows and my liquid eyeliner. If you talk to me, I won't respond. That's like literally Kellen will come in the restroom sometimes and I'll be doing my uh, makeup and he'll say something to you. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I just can't multi that. And then you can see there's like a slight color difference. So I'll get the darker shade now and then just kind of shade it in, in the back. So that's brow one and you guys can see the instant eye lift and I pretty much like, don't do any of the powder in the front because I already have a lot of hair. What I will do though, which I'll show you guys after, is I just like draw like faux brush strokes and then brush up my brows. And then you guys see like 
that little part of hair that's coming down so basically i'll either brush that up or just cut it but you guys feel me this brow product this dior backstage brow palette is literally money so that is what my brows look like and then what i'm gonna do is basically either just cut these right now or brush it up let's see down a little bit on this side right here but we'll manage for the front of my brows i'm gonna use this matte spiked shape and shade brow tint and it just has like this really really fine liquid point right here and i'll just draw in strokes at the front sometimes it's like can you even see it and then we're gonna just fluff these brows up a little bit. Everyone is doing like those like gel laminated brows, but I feel like with my Asian hair, it's just so thick that I just can't keep it down. I've tried it before where I've done gel and like held it down and just like comes right back up. So I just fluff my brows instead. Again, it's like really subtle, which I like. And this Ilia one is great because sometimes I feel like it makes your brows really, really hard and your brows don't like move around. But this one just makes it feel like your natural brow, but it just gives it a little more oomph. So those are my brows. Next, we're moving on to my eye makeup and I'm using this Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. And I love this one because basically, as you can see, it's just a bunch of warm tones. Yeah, just for my complexion, I really love warm tones. I feel like it brought, brings like a really nice, again, warm kind of feeling to your eyes and this just works for my undertone because usually when i get you know foundation colors i either get neutral so i use this shade right here my eyeshadow process is so simple you're gonna be shocked like i just use this little tapered brush it's from laura mercier they have really great brushes i'll start at the end of my eyes and then kind of like where it hits the brow bone and then just move it in and just blend it out with my finger but basically i'll kind of leave this area and then just go over it i just found that this just works best for my eye shape leave um a space here so i don't take it all the way up and that's it oh and then actually i'm gonna highlight my brow bone i'm using this visor palette and i'm using this white shade right here Okay, but you see how like my hair is falling? So I'll show you guys how I cut it really quick. I basically just use these scissors and just cut it, no fear. Get it. I mean, eyebrows grow back, so I literally am just like, it's cool. And now it is time for liquid liner, which is my holy grail of products. I have so many liners in my bag right now. Let me just show you the lineup of products. I have this L'Oreal Signature Eyeliner, which is one of my favorite ones. The lines are super black. It's easy to use. And it comes in this pot. And then this YSL Couture Eyeliner, which I love. This is a brown shade. And then this Stilla Waterproof Eyeliner. This was one of my favorite eyeliners that I first discovered. And then this Lancome Grandos liner is incredible too. And how cool is it? This bends. So I usually like eyeliners that come in pots like this because I feel like the lines, I'm sorry, I have one more. This Revlon Colors Day, which is amazing. I've used this since high school and I keep buying it time and time again. While well, I use this L'Oreal one today, I love this one. Just shake it up. And then I get a lot of questions um, regarding how I keep my extensions clean. And it's really tricky, especially with liquid eyeliner because it gets on your eyelashes. So sometimes it makes your eyelashes like kind of hard and like clumpy. So what I do is I'll brush my eyelashes all in to the middle, just like, like that. Yeah, it makes your eyelashes look funky for a sec, but and then and then start drawing my eyeliner once i'm done drawing it i make sure to brush it out to get that product off my eyelashes let's use a eyelash little comb here 
even still, it definitely does get in my eyelashes. But I do find that like just brushing it out after and just trying to get the product or at least disperse it to some degree helps. And yes, I have both top and bottom eyelashes. And for my eyeliner, I just draw it at the end here. I just like the look of that more and then keeping this area just open or just with eyeshadow. And then next I'm going to do my signature little inner corner eye trick. So I just love doing this to subtly accentuate my eyes. But literally that face that everyone makes when they do their eyeliner or their mascara is hilarious. I'm guilty. And then just make sure to consistently, you know, show my lash extension love and brush them out. And my eyelashes, I literally have no natural lashes. So what my girl does, I do volume lashes. So based on a single lash, they put three little lash extensions. So they kind of fan out like that. So that is the lash extensions that I get. And then I also get lashes on the bottom as well. I don't know what curl, but if you show your lash person a photo of lashes you want, but as long as volume lashes, I feel like it will achieve like the full lash look. And then just to bring like a final pop to my eyes, I love using this inner light baton from Surat Beauty. So this is just like a highly pigmented, like white light <laughs> stick. And basically I'll just do it in the inner corners of my eyes, just brighten it up and just bring more life. So I'll just do it right here. You really don't need a lot. It's quite pigmented. Oh, what even? No! Y'all, I love my Q-tips. Okay. You can already see it here. You really don't need that much. And the final step left is my lips. And I'm guilty of overlining my lips. So I've used so many lip liners in my time. And one of my favorite ones that I really love is this Dominique Cosmetics lip liner. And this is the shade Crush. And I like this one because it's really pigmented. It doesn't move around and it stays all day. Because sometimes what I found is like, I'll drink a coffee, I'll eat food and my lip liner just goes away. Or it'll just kind of start to fade at the ends here. So this one is so good. Just see how well this draws. And I like this really over on my lips. I guess not too much but I still do overdraw it. I'll show you guys one side to show you. <laughs> this side is my natural lip and this is just how much I overdraw it. I usually just overdraw my top more just to fill it in and then my bottom one, I pretty much line it. So that's this lip liner. It literally works so well. And then what I'm basically gonna do is just like bring this in. I really feel like I need to do my lips in order for my look to feel complete. Yeah, I'm just going to bring the line in and then I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. It looks a little more natural and the line isn't so defined. And then for the appearance of bigger lips, I just draw a line right here to make it look a little more plump. And then I get darker here. <laughs> it looks so funny until you fill it in. I love this MAC Retro Lip Lady Be Good. I don't know how many I've been through, but it's just a matte color that I absolutely love. I constantly, I have like one in my makeup bag, one in my purse. This one is really running low, but I just adore this color. And I just love the way that it stays on all day. It doesn't ever crack, it doesn't feel heavy. And I also don't put that much on. It's just, I really just do it for the color. I just have to brush it on. And I just like that it also has this tip. So it's really easy to apply or like fill it in and just blend it in where my lip liner is. And here is my final look. This is my everyday look. I feel like it's, it's like a cross between like 
a warm, but a lighter, soft glam. Not even soft glam, really. I don't know what to call this, but this is my everyday makeup look. I love it because it just has really subtle highlights and it has warm tones, but you know, I bring some edge with my eyeliner and my brows. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.